what's up everybody? It's me, Nita Marquez, here with another three minute or less prep time recipe from here in my kitchen in Sherman Oaks, California. It's a beautiful sunny day in LA and I have to go pick up the kids here shortly, but before I do, I need to have something ready fast for dinner. And so what I'm gonna do is throw some chicken in. I've already preheated my oven to 350. I've got my potato, I've got my little ninja, and I've got my chicken. All you need is your chicken, your ninja, your potato, and a knife, and some oil for the bottom of your pan. You want to smother the bottom of your pan with something healthy like omega-3 based oils. Uh, you could also use olive oil, but for this dish, I actually prefer the omega-3 uh, by Smart Balance. And then we're using gluten-free peanut sauce, Thai peanut sauce for the dressing for the chicken today. Now my kids are um, all very healthy. My middle child, however, is gluten sensitive, so I do have to watch what I'm making. What we're gonna do right now is cut this potato up into fours. One potato in the Ninja food processor. However, we need to dice up really well in our Ninja for the kids to have enough starch as a side to eat because I usually throw a salad together or some kind of a some kind of a veggie side for them to have along with the starch. Now once again the ninja does not have content settled to the bottom until you actually shake them down. There it goes. This is awesome. I love this thing. So now you have more or less what looks like a little bit of a mashed potato mush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smother the chicken with that. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have time to make the presentation perfect. Um, if I were having company for dinner, I guess I would be more worried about it. My kids are going to be a little bit more familiar. Now, what I'm going to do is take the chicken. I've already smothered my pan with oil. Throw the chicken onto the pan. And that way when the kids are ready to eat, they can just grab a hold of a piece of chicken and dig in. Fingers or forks and knives, who knows what they're gonna do. Um, gonna take the potatoes and dump them right on top of the chicken. So it gets sort of like a mash. And it gets a little bit crusty, which is awesome. My kids personally enjoy that. And I do too, I guess they get that from me. Um, once you've gotten all your potatoes out of your pro food processor, make sure your hands are clean before you start, of course. You smother your chicken in the mashed potatoes. Now, I didn't tell you that I actually threw my spices into the blend before I actually started the video. So I actually had some basil and oregano, a little bit of garlic salt and some sea salt in the mashed potatoes so that it has a little bit of flavor, uh, sort of like an Italian flavoring whenever they go to eat it. But then mixed with the spicy Thai peanut sauce, it's really a unique and very, I don't know, exotic taste. I don't know how to explain it, Italian Thai? Anyways, it's a great fusion dish if that's what it is. It takes three minutes or less to prepare, and um, that's pretty much it. And that's it for me, Nita Marquez, coming to you once again from here in beautiful, sunny L.A.